One, a new staff member struggles to consistently follow the endoscope cleaning protocol. What is the best approach to enhance learning? A. Provide written instructions only. B. Observe their process and give immediate feedback. C. Assign them more shifts to practice independently. D. Wait for them to improve over time. 2. During a competency assessment, a trainee repeatedly misses steps in the pre-cleaning process. What is the most effective teaching strategy? A. Give a verbal lecture on steps. B. Demonstrate the process and let them repeat it. C. Ask them to read the manual. D. Record them and review later without feedback. 3. Which method is most effective for adult learners to retain reprocessing procedures? A. Rote memorization. B. Hands-on simulation with guided practice. C. Watching a single demonstration. D. Reading policy documents only. 4. An experienced technician resists new reprocessing protocols. How should a CER instructor handle this situation? A. Ignore their resistance. B. Explain the rationale and benefits while involving them in training. C. Enforce the rules strictly without discussion. D. Delay implementation until they comply. 5. A trainee demonstrates understanding in a group discussion but fails during hands-on assessment. What is the best next step? A. Pass them based on verbal knowledge. B. Provide additional hands-on practice and supervision. C. Reduce assessment standards. D. Skip the hands-on portion. 6. When introducing a new automated endoscope reprocessor, what is the most effective training approach for adult learners? A. Distribute the manual and ask them to read. B. Provide live demonstrations with supervised practice. C. Give a written quiz only. E. Assume prior knowledge is sufficient. 7. Which feedback method best supports adult learner skill development in endoscope reprocessing? A. Immediate, specific, and constructive feedback. B. General comments after several leaks. C. Critique in front of the group without guidance. D. Feedback only through emails. 8. A learner asks repetitive questions about the same step during reprocessing training. What approach aligns with adult learning principles? A. Ignore the questions. B. Provide a clear demonstration and allow repeated practice. C. Tell them to figure it out themselves. D. Skip the step to save time. 9. To evaluate a CER trainee's competency, which method is most effective? A. Written multiple choice exam only. B. Direct observation of hands-on skills with feedback. C. Group discussion only. D. Self-assessment without supervision. 10. A staff member completes reprocessing faster than average but misses key steps. How should an instructor address this? A. Praise speed only. B. Emphasize accuracy and critical steps through coaching. C. Reduce training time. D. Allow them to continue without correction. 11. When teaching reprocessing protocols, which approach supports knowledge retention best? A. Present information once in a lecture. B. Use repetitive scenario-based simulations. C. Only provide written instructions. D. Assume learners will memorize after reading. 12. A CER trainee is overwhelmed by complex reprocessing tasks. What is the best teaching strategy? A. Assign multiple tasks simultaneously. B. Break tasks into smaller, sequential steps. C. Ignore the overwhelm. D. Test them immediately without guidance. 13. 
During hands-on training, a trainee makes repeated errors. What is the most effective adult learning technique? A. Criticize publicly. B. Provide step-by-step -step guidance and supervised practice. C. Skip the trainee. D. Reduce standards for passing. 14. How can CER instructors promote active learning during reprocessing training? A. Lecturing continuously for one hour. B. E, incorporating problem-solving scenarios and interactive practice. C. Providing handouts only. D. Testing without prior demonstration. 15. Which method helps adult learners transfer endoscope reprocessing skills to real-world tasks? A. Memorizing steps. B. Practicing under realistic scenarios with feedback. C. Watching videos repeatedly. D. Reading procedures multiple times. 16. A trainee struggles with understanding high-level disinfection timing. What teaching approach aligns with adult learning principles? A. Provide a step-by-step -step demonstration and allow repeated practice. B. Give only written instructions. C. Ask them to memorize times. D. Skip explanation and continue. 17. Which strategy improves retention for experienced CER staff learning new technology? A. Single lecture. B. Scenario-based hands-on practice with peer discussion. C. Asking staff to read manuals independently. D. Assigning homework only. 18. A group training session shows variable skill levels among participants. What approach ensures all meet competency standards? A. Teach at the fastest participants' pace. B. Assess individual needs and provide tailored practice. C. Ignore slower learners. D. Only focus on high performers. 19. Which evaluation method best measures adult learners' practical competency in endoscope reprocessing? A. Oral questioning. B. Observed hands-on demonstration with checklist. C. Essay assignment. D. Derp discussion only. 20. When mentoring new CER staff, what is the most effective feedback approach? A. Give immediate, specific, and constructive guidance. B. Provide only annual evaluations. C. Critique publicly to motivate. D. Avoid feedback unless requested. 21. A CER trainee asks why certain steps are necessary. What is the best response for adult learning? A. Uh, ignore the question. B. Explain the rationale, referencing safety and efficacy. C. Say it must be done without explanation. D. Provide a vague answer. 22. Which adult learning technique is most effective for teaching complex reprocessing workflows? A. Memorization drills. B. Stepwise demonstrations with guided repetition. C. Reading slides silently. E. Watching videos without practice. 23. A trainee refuses to participate in hands-on practice. How should an instructor respond? A. Force participation. E. Discuss barriers, provide motivation, and encourage gradual involvement. C. Ignore refusal. D. Lower standards for this trainee. 24. When assessing knowledge retention after training, which approach is most effective? A. Written exam only. B. Combination of written, oral, and hands-on evaluation. C. Observing silently. E. Asking participants if they remember steps. 25. A CER instructor notices learners losing focus during training. What strategy aligns with adult learning principles? A. Continue the lecture. 
B. Introduce interactive simulations or real-life scenarios. C. Test learners immediately. D. Stop the session without adjustment. 26. Which approach promotes self-directed learning for adult CER staff? A. Assign reading without follow-up. E. Encourage goal-setting, reflection, and practice opportunities. C. Dictate all procedures, step by step. Avoid independent practice. 27. How should a CER instructor handle a trainee who consistently resists change in protocols? A. Ignore resistance. B. Engage in discussion, explain rationale, and demonstrate benefits. C. Punish the trainee. D. Remove them from training. 28. Which method best supports skill acquisition in reprocessing during initial training? A. Reading procedure manuals. B. Supervised hands-on practice with iterative feedback. C. Memorizing steps. D. Watching demonstrations only. 29. A learner completes all tasks correctly but lacks confidence. Which adult learning strategy is most effective? A. Ignore confidence issues. B. Provide positive reinforcement and guided practice. C. Focus only on errors. Delay assessment until confident. 30. How can CER instructors ensure learning objectives are met in a mixed experience group? A. Teach everyone at the same pace. B. Assess individual needs and provide differentiated instruction. C. Only teach beginners. D. Skip advanced content for all.